Before we begin, I want to congratulate Aralis and Queen Collier for contributing their stories to my website. First, we have Alien Infestation by Queen Collier. The story starts when aliens appear and disappear according to their fancy, making humans unwilling to leave their homes out of fear. The settings take place in a cruise ship. The story do reflect a bit about the current epidemic as well as some nostalgic reference to the Titanic the movie. Although it has a forced happy ending, it's still a good read. Then we have The Mirror by Aralist. It depicts the dilemma of a writer, and the setting takes place in a dark alley. There was a mirror image that represents the ideal self of the writer, and there are candles everywhere that represents his writing passion. As the story progresses, we see that in pursuing his ideal self, the writer's candle of passion kept blown away by the mirror image, thus losing sight of his true path in the end. This is the first time I spent my vacation on cruise and it was indeed a wonderful experience. I got to visit the Caribbean islands, got to see the dolphins and even the big blue whale. The food here was excellent, the services were splendid, everything was perfect except for that strange little incident, but there's no need to talk about that now. I was too glad to be back home and was a little sad at the same time as I felt my vacation was too short and had to make preparations for the next day's work. Another concern was that I wasn't able to use the internet. I do that the phone I'm using will have been with me for 5 years and it's probably malfunctioning because of that and needed a replacement. When the ship finally reached its dock, I contacted my family. It took a pretty long to reach them though. Hello? That was from my sister. Her voice was a bit fuzzy, but probably because the signal was too weak. Hi Rachel, I said. Guess who's back? Hello? Who is it? Is, is that you big brother? You, you have been gone for 7 years, I thought you were dead. 7 years? You, are you kidding? I was only on a vacation for a week, you know. Then, there was some commotion going on. The cruise ship did not actually berth. From afar, I could see no sailors from the harbour coming to tie the ship to the pilings. Nobody to lower the gate for us to set foot. No one except for a humanoid robot which I haven't seen before. Sorry, but this territory is full. Said the android on speaker. What do you mean this territory is full? said the captain. His voice was so loud that he did not need a microphone. Hong Kong is my homeland. I have right of a boat here. Your cruise ship went missing. Rachel continued. An international search party was called for, but no clue to your whereabouts was found. Seven years. How was that possible? I intuitively recalled that incident. It was night time. The sky was filled with a spectrum of flowing lights. Just like the northern lights except that we were nowhere near the Arctic, and there were frequent flashes of dark lightning too. I became extremely dizzy at that time. Then I saw a middle-aged man in a smart suit, who came out of nowhere, always tugging his tie. When I came to say hi, he had a wicked smile on his face and said, Sorry, but you're not what my employees were looking for. Sweet dreams. Then I passed out. When I came through, I found myself lying on deck under the bright morning sun, I just asked around to know what happened last night and I was shocked to hear that everyone I spoke to had lost consciousness that night. But I was sure that not everybody had collapsed. For instance, the captain and the crew. If they did, we would all have met the same fate as Titanic. But I still couldn't see how that incident was related. A few days later, the corona came. The corona? Corona is a name we use to call our alien colonizers. Aliens? This was becoming weirder and weirder. Was Rachel struck with a fever or something? Rachel then said, A war broke out and ended in Earth surrender by the seventh hour. In seven hours? I couldn't suppress my disbelief. What happened to our state-of-the-art military technology, bioweapons, nuclear warheads? We did everything we could, but they were just too powerful. It was later revealed that they had already conquered the entire galaxy. After that, the corona took as many able-bodied people as they could somewhere to be physically and psychologically modified. Those humans later became cronies, corona's main military force on earth. Cronies had no memories of who they are and thus lost their reason to hate the corona and were most effective puppets to ensure the corona dominant rule over earth. This territory is filled with 10 million people already. What? The captain's voice was loud and clear. I always thought the SKR government was too lenient on its immigration policies and see what happens. They should keep out the mainlanders for taking away our land. 
Corona, for some reason, allowed the existence of quarantine zones," said Rachel. "What do you mean, not just those mainlanders?" cried the captain. "Donald Trump, Kim Jong Il, also here. I know Hong Kong is trying to build its international image, but this joke has gone too far." Quarantine zones," I asked. "That's what we call for territories that have zero corona intervention. Examples were Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, and Switzerland." But most of the big nations were occupied by alien colonizers. Suddenly, a siren of some sort had broke out. Huge bubbles started forming around the ocean, and later on, a thunder splash. Three giant UFO-like machines towered above us with tentacles under their bellies for support and motion. People on board the cruise ship started panicking, screaming, and scrambling. I saw the tentacles were grabbing people one by one at terrific speeds. Run, for God's sake! Big brother, run! That's the end of the story. Please feel free to upload your stories to my website and get free reviews.